How's it going everyone? My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily type on different paths in Illustrator. I'm going to create different shapes like a circle and square, and it'll create a custom path like a wave or zigzag. So I'm just going to begin by selecting the ellipse tool and making a circle. That'll be a good size there, and I'll just align that to the center. Uh, the next thing we'll want to do is select our type tool. Just click and hold and scroll down to type on a path tool. And as you can see, there's that little wavy line in the center now. And you'll want to make sure that you actually hover over your path and click there. And I'll just type in Mind Island Design. This keyboard is terrible. And I'll just select this text and align it to center. So let's say I want this text to be at the bottom of the circle, but I want it to be facing right side up. Uh, this is how you do that. Just select your direct selection tool and hover over the little blue line there until there's a little black arrow. And you can just drag up. As you can see, it's on the very top now. If I drag down, it's above the circle. So you can just kind of tweak your text this way. Um, I do want to keep it at the bottom and I'll just drag it up like that. Perfect. And let's say I want this text to be below the circle. Let's say the circle is a part of my design and this is kind of in the way. I uh, just want to make sure that your text is highlighted and go to your character panel and you can adjust your your baseline shift. Um, let's just scroll down and let's go to like 100. When you use this option it does either depending if you're going up or down um, adjust your tracking for your text so um, I'll just let's just do minus 15 I guess that looks fine to me and yeah that is how you type around a circle now let me just highlight this and move this out of the way and now let's make a square so now let's say if I want to type within this within this shape let's just make it a custom shape um, I'll just round this corner here maybe a bit more actually like that and now again holding down on the type tool let's go to the area type tool and now you can just type I guess you do again need to actually select your path and like that your text is within that shape and just another quick thing to take note of is your paragraph panel here and again, these are both on the side here, your character and paragraph. Um, these little dots give you more options. Um, so yeah, let's just select the paragraph panel and I wanna uncheck the hyphenate. That just makes it look much cleaner. There's not those little lines there at the side. And yeah, that's basically, <laughs> it's basically that, it's super easy. And now to type on a custom shape, let me just make a little wave here with this line segment tool. Um, let me just make this line actually visible like that. And I'm just, I'm just gonna go to the effect panel, distort and transform and zigzag. Let's preview this. I'll make this about 50 and smooth. Let's just make this a little less wavy. Like that's good there. And now the path is still straight, so to fix that, I'm just going to go to Object and Expand Appearance. So now the path is still along the actual line. So let's select the Type tool. Zoom in here and just select your path. And it looks like the baseline shift is still at negative um, 100, so I'll just set that back to zero. So it's actually on the line. And yeah, now you can adjust your text as you please. So yeah, if I just go to character, I can adjust the the font and all that. I'll just go to our brand font here. We use Poppins. And yeah, just adjust your character and your paragraph settings to your liking, and you're all good to go. So yeah, that is how you type on or within a path in Illustrator. I hope this video helped. If it did, please hit subscribe and follow us on all of our social media to stay connected and never miss a new tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.